What's up guys? Today we're going to be looking at what it was like to be a Yu-Gi-Oh! collector in 2013, seven years ago. So this is a video by Old School Expert, one of my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTubers. He's a vintage guy, he's posted a lot of old school openings and stuff like that. So this is his binder from 2013. He quotes a lot of prices at the time, which is what made me like fascinated with this video. I was like, this is hilarious. The, the prices are just so much different than now, and they're just almost comically low. At the time, I guess they were not low, obviously. It was a lot different, but I thought you guys would get a kick out of this, seeing what it was like seven years ago with all of our cards that are hundreds and thousands of dollars. Some of these are just crazy low, so let's, let's hop into it. Yeah, and uh, he's recording vertically. He doesn't normally do that. <laughs> this just shows you how old the video is. So the, the video is like that. I know. Overall Yu-Gi-Oh! collection. Um, obviously, there's some better ones out there, but you have probably never seen so many awesome old school cards all in one collection. And uh, everything is first edition and everything's English. It's all mint or near mint condition, most of it uh, being mint. The cool thing about this video is there's a lot of mint condition. He has like mint condition raw cards, which you don't really see those anymore because they've all been graded. But in like 2013, people weren't grading much. I guess there was a couple of people doing it, but for the most part, hardly anyone was grading Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They were grading sports cards, but not Yu-Gi-Oh. So a lot of his stuff is like mint condition raw, which is really cool to see. Here's where it gets interesting. Uh, mechanical Chaser, Morphing Jar, Needleworm, Royal Decree, Luminous Soldier, Toon Cannon Soldier, DD Warrior, Magic Arm Shield, and another Mechanical Chaser. That's one I pulled out of my box. Um, these, obviously the first four are the real rare ones. Um, Royal Decrees are up right now. This uh, varies in price according to the ban list because it's a pretty useful card. Um, but this is around like 65, 70 bucks right now. That one isn't too crazy because it was, as he said, playable back then. So 65, 70, I think it's probably like 120 now Bruh. or something like that. I'm not totally sure. I'll pop it up. Now. Um, of course, all my prices are at the time of filming this video. Mo at the time of filming this video, which was 2013, late 2013, something like that. So this stuff doesn't fluctuate too much because it's older, collectible, and it's pretty steady. Steady. In 2013, but not now. Um, morphing jar. Uh, for mint ones, are about 150 $150 for a mint morphing jar. If you guys saw my top 10 most valuable cards, check it out. Morphing Jar was my number one card at about $8,000 in a 10. So $150 then, $8,000 now. Here we've got some uh, promo cards. We've got the uh, three. He actually has the DDS promos. DDS promos. Those are the big ones, obviously. Really rare, um, all in gem mint condition. That's really hard to find. Hard to find in the sealed games too, I can tell you. He didn't say the prices of those, but I was interested to see what they were going for. I think DDS Blue Eyes was always still kind of expensive. Got the Exodia set, first edition. Um, this has gone up a lot. There's one on eBay right now. Um, by the time this video gets posted, it'll be gone, but it's at $265. That's the auction. It started at like 100 bucks. Mint condition, first edition, Legend of Blue Eyes Exodia set, $265. That is a lot currently at this time according to him it was a lot at 2013 now good luck getting even one mint piece for 265 dollars that's pretty crazy i would say the whole set is worth 10 grand in tens maybe something like that it's a lot so um first set exodia sets are pretty expensive these days and this one is mint i've had it for a while I paid 55 dollars for it back, back in 2007 he paid $55 in 2007, so if we go back 13 years, you're paying $55 for a set. Three first ed LOB blue eyes. Three first ed LOB blue eyes. Let's see if he says the price. These guys are getting really rare and- Really rare. Um, they've shot up to about $50. $50, $50. Those cards in 10 are like what? One sold for, okay. This price was questionable because there was some shield bidding, but 85 grand? $50. So whether they're 40 or 85 grand, whatever the, whatever the real price is, they were 50 back in 2013. These are all, um, this is, I call this my gem mint page because everything on here has been pulled from a pack. Um, it's pack fresh, perfect, nothing wrong with it. Um, that's most of the binder, but this one, especially this page, because I pulled almost all this stuff. So, um, we've got four red eyes, four blue eyes, and a monster reborn. It's all, um, First edition. I did not pull the Monster Reborn, unfortunately. Hey, we pulled a Monster Reborn. This page is also kind of expensive. These Dark Magicians are almost about $40 now. 40 bucks. 
three uh, Guy the Fierce Knights. All first set. They're about. They're still about ten bucks. That's Gaia was ten dollars. This guy, mint condition, ten dollars. Now he's about two thousand. And we got the uh, metal, mix of Metal Raider supers and LOB supers. A couple dark holes. So that's three dark holes. Um, I'm willing to trade any of this stuff. Please, can I trade you? Please, please. But I don't usually sell. I'm not big on selling it because. Of See, that's that's the thing about back then when the prices were like five bucks, ten bucks, or whatever. I wouldn't sell much either. I think trading makes a lot more sense because if you're going to like, why sell something for $5 when you could trade it for another card you want? Because $5 is, you know, it's just not much. So here we've got Metal Raider stuff, three time wizards. Um, all the Metal Raider stuff has actually gone up in price. Leave your guesses in the comments to what it went up to. So um, pretty much we said some skull, which just hovered around eight to ten dollars. Eight to ten dollars, guys. Summon Skull First Edition Mint was eight to ten dollars. But Time Wizard used to be like four or five bucks now. And these are about ten. Ten. These skulls were about eight. That's how much I paid for each of these. Eight dollars. You're going for <clears throat> twenty, twenty-five dollars. Twenty, twenty-five. All right, we're getting up there. Crazy. Eight dollars. Barrel Dragons. These have gone up to almost thirty bucks. Thirty bucks. Wow, they must have been like playable. Those are like more than Summon Skull three times. It's crazy. It's really crazy. I don't know. Crazy. I guess there are more collectors now, so obviously the supply cannot get any bigger, so the demand had, must have increased. Economics 101. So we got three Buster Bladers, three Goblin Attack Force, and then uh, first set called the Haunted. Um, well, I don't know why I say first set. Everything in here is first set. Uh, ceasefire, Chain Destruction. I guess I just say it because like Unlimited Edition is just not worth nearly as much with this older stuff. I want to know what the Unlimited prices were. I'm guessing like a buck. 50 cents, two dollars, because this stuff, I mean, some of it's like five to eight dollars, some of the values. So we got three uh, Dark Paladins up here. These are the arid ones I've told you guys about. Um, pretty rare, about 40 bucks each. 40 bucks for corrected Dark Paladin. So whether you believe that's a overhyped card or not, 40 bucks was a good deal. They were 40 bucks for a long time, and then boom, ch -ch -ch, now they're in PSA 10, like, Four or five grand, something like that. And uh, XYZ Dragon and XY Dragon. Funny thing is, this is like, you know, five or six bucks at first admin, and this is like three. First edition XYZ Dragon can at three dollars. That's pretty cool. I mean, it's not still not that expensive now, but first edition Magician's Force Ultra are at three dollars. Another um, corrected uh, Dark Paladin. If someone wants it, let me know. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'm gonna send him this. I'll take it. So that's what it was like in 2013 if you were collecting old school cards. The cards were cheap. We're talking $40 Dark Paladin corrected art. We're talking $8 Summon Skull First Edition Mint. I mean, it's just crazy. Can you guys even imagine that? Like, right now, what you'd spend on one PSA card could buy you almost every card in his binder, which this binder at this point, you know, was worth a few hundred bucks. Now it's like, th if this same binder existed, it'd be worth tens of thousands. You know, it's crazy. Just crazy to see what's happened with Yu-Gi-Oh. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you guys like the video and go ahead and check out Old School Expert. I'll link him down below because one, this is his video. Two, he has a great channel. And then, do I need a third thing? Do I really need a third thing? Yeah, so that's it for this video, guys. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! Oh, <laughs>